Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. Might look real nice here in the store. But there's going to be a time real soon when this gear will be put to the test. It's going to get beat up. And it's going to get you closer to that moment you've been waiting for all year. Because no matter how the hunt goes or where it finally ends, for more than 115 years, our Shields experts have been right there with you. Now that you've lived with him, what's the biggest annoyance that you've had to deal with with him? Um, you know, he likes to be the instigator on a, on a lot of uh, little fights. He'll he'll pick fights with with all of us just to get us going, and uh, you know he'll just he'll keep feeding into it, feeding into it until finally someone t tells him to shut up. Uh, it's either that or he doesn't have an Xbox, so he likes to borrow uh, all of his roommates while we're we're out of out of the house. So, what's the best part of him being a roommate? Uh, the best part. It's kind of hard, you know. He's, no, I'm just kidding. He's uh, he's just a good guy to have around. You know, he's he's a he's a different breed, but uh, you know, he's he's fun to just sit there and, and watch the Twins or watch the Vikings or, or whatever we're watching. And you know, he's just good company to have. After a long off-season, the team felt the warm embrace of the Ralph as it faced off against familiar exhibition opponent, Anatoly. After allowing an early goal, Ludwig Hoff corrected the ship. Back into the Bison zone, here's Ludwig Hoff, shoots, he scores! Fun getting back on the ice again for sure with uh, new teammates and old ones and I mean just playing hockey and was fun. We've been waiting a long time now so felt really good getting after it again. With the game being an exhibition, Coach Barry played seven of his freshmen in the lineup and the freshmen took advantage. Chance here for Adams, leaving it in front! How about that on the backhand for Christian Milanen? The junior defenseman makes it 3-1 North Dakota! All six freshman skaters earned at least a point as the Fighting Hawks came away with a 6-2 win to warm up for the season. Well, uh, learn that uh, we're not a one-line team. Um, you know, we have a little bit of depth like we always talked about, and that uh, the way we're going to have success is with everybody pulling the rope. So uh, I thought there was a lot of good efforts tonight. There's a lot of things we got to work on. Obviously, uh, um, not as sharp as we could have been, but that's to be expected because of the, the first game. But uh, now it's game on, and we got to make sure that we're ready for Alaska next week and, and, uh, and have a good week of practice uh, leading up to that. Not long after the season ended last year, it was announced that Austin Pagansky would be the one to don the C going into this season. Well, first of all, uh, you know, the players voted on it. Uh, they had the vote, and he was emphatically the uh, number one choice to be our captain. So, you know, whenever you know the coaches have their own idea of who should the captain should be, and, and that's along the lines of what uh, the players voted. So, it was, you know, we're all on the same page. Um, 
The reason why we did it so early is we wanted to make sure that our summer went the right way and we had direction and focus right away uh, going into the fall. And, uh, you know, uh, Pogo and the rest of that group that, that were behind our leadership group, our captaincy group, did a great job of, of making sure that happened. I mean, it was a really surreal uh, moment and feeling for myself. I never really thought coming in as a freshman that I'd have the opportunity to be captain here at the University of North Dakota. And when Brad came up to me and asked if I would be the captain of the team, I was elated and I just thought of all the past captains with Gage Osmus and Steph Patton. I just kind of put my name with those guys. It's pretty surreal and it's a true honor and I'm just taking it day by day. Well, obviously, I had an idea that it was going to be him. Uh... You know, obviously he's uh, he's been a leader now for, for the last few years, and, and he plays a huge role for our team. So, uh, you know, not a surprise but for me, but uh, you know, for sure happy for him, and, and uh, it's a great fit. How he is off the ice, uh, how he does his schoolwork, uh, and how he is at the rink. Obviously, uh, he's such a hard worker, and, and he leads by example, and that's something that you know the younger guys can look up to, and, and it's something that we need on our team. You know, I was happy for him. Uh, all four years here, he's, he's worked hard. He's been one of our hardest workers. Um, and, you know, he's going to continue to do that this year. And, you know, he really pushes guys uh, in, in the right way. And I think that's, uh, that's what it takes to be a captain. And he's going to be a good one for us. Boganski, a native of St. Cloud, Minnesota, has been around many players on the current team longer than he's been at UND. Obviously, I mean, I knew Pogo before, even before I came here, and uh, you know, he's always a great kid and, and had good uh, character. So, I mean, uh, you could see that uh, you know as he kept developing and kept growing, uh, he was maybe blossoming into into that role, and, and obviously, is he's there now. So, uh, it's it's great for him, and uh, it's great for our team. His roots go back to North Dakota a long way. When he was a young guy, probably seven, eight years old, he played on a spring and fall team called the Junior Sioux, and it was a 96 team, uh, all 96 age group. He played with Dixon, Bowen, Cole, 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 and a bunch of guys around here all the way up, so there was an affiliation at an early, early age. To see him come to North Dakota, it's a blessing for us. Former captain Gage Osmus was roommates with Pagansky, and Austin looks to utilize what he learned. Last year I was able to live with Gage for the full season and throughout the year I think I learned a lot from him and just the way he kind of carries himself within within hockey and within just kind of in the community. I think it's a big thing being able to be a leader on the ice and off the ice and I think throughout my year with Gage I definitely learned a bunch of tendencies from him and hopefully I can kind of toss in a few of my own and kind of bring them together and hopefully lead the team to another national championship. As I, you know, got used to knowing, knowing him and stuff like that, uh, I could tell that he, you know, he had those captain instincts in him. But uh, you know, I always give him a little crap for it, uh, being his roommate and all. But uh, no, like I said, it's good, and uh, we're excited to have him as our leader. He's professional. He comes in with a purpose. Like everything he does in life, uh, whether it's academics, whether it's the game, whether it's practices, whether it's you know the community service, everything that he does in life it has a genuine care and a focus and a passion for, and and, and he's serious about it. And, uh, and when you have a guy that has all those qualities to lead your group, it, you know, it only resonates with the rest of the group. In each year, we're bringing a lot of new talent. With I think we have seven freshmen this year and one junior, and I think. As a leader and as a captain, it takes a lot of responsibility to kind of get those guys accumulated with the systems and then the way that we play hockey here at the University of North Dakota. And I think the quicker we bring them into our uh, family here at the University of North Dakota is the quicker that our team will succeed. And I take that as my responsibility to kind of get them accumulated as soon as possible. Myself being captain and with Trevor Rolls and Johnny Simonson and Rhett Gardner being the assistant captains, I think that's just the start of our leadership group. I think uh, even if you don't have a letter on your uh, jersey, doesn't mean you're not a leader here on, the, on our team. And I think in order to be successful, we need all guys keeping each other accountable, especially the older guys within the senior and junior class. And I think with Cam Johnson and all the juniors are great assets to our team. And if everyone's sharing their opinion and keeping guys accountable, I think that's the, when our team's going to be very successful.
To start the regular season, the team hits the road and heads to Anchorage, Alaska. You know, we want to build on our week from uh, uh, Manitoba. You know, what we've had about limited time as far as what we can work with our guys. I thought our guys had a pretty good showing against Manitoba. we got to work on a lot of different things as far as getting better at, at those things. But I uh, just want to build on our game against Manitoba. Uh, we got a deep group. We always talk about that. We want to try to get a lot more guys into our lineup here uh, as far as seeing what they have. And again, it's Alaska. It's non-conference. It's highly important for us to uh, go up there and have some success because, like I said, it's uh, when Pairwise comes out at the end of the year, we want to make sure that we're in the top 16. Yeah, we don't know too much about them yet. I think we'll do a lot of film on them throughout this week, and once we get through, I'm sure we'll do uh, some presets on their systems and things like that. But I think they're going to be a more more mature team. I think they have an Olympic uh, shoe device out there, so it's going to be a lot more skating, a lot more position-based thing. And I think early in the year that can kind of be a little uh, problematic with guys not really understanding the systems to a T yet. So I think uh, this week will be a huge a huge week of preparation with systems and things like that. So. After the offensive showcase against Manitoba, the team hopes to utilize its depth to start the season. Can't wait. You know, we we say it all the time, but we waited five months for this. Uh, obviously, we have that uh, you know that tough feeling in our stomach from the end of last year. But uh, you know, like we always say, we're going to use that to our benefit, and we're, we're just you know really excited to get this thing rolling. Yes! Sucker Adam. Where'd the sucker go? The dropped it. <laughs> 